so in one in one case you have a you you've been around for a little bit and so you have a social media follower you have a, a, a large mailing list you have just a strong online community engagement already so by the time you get ready to raise capital you're just telling people hey I'm actually raising capital, come invest, and people just flock to this offer, right? That's sort of what happened with Curl Mix, um, one of my clients who raised a million dollars in a couple of hours. Like, she has a strong community, and she's in, she's a community. What I mean by community is that she's been engaging. There's an actual community of people and users, right? The other side, um, or if say, because a lot of people just don't have that, right? That is, that's not a thing for everybody. So then that doesn't mean you, you're not going to be successful, what you have to do though is take some time, whether during or right a little bit before, a couple months before that, and build that crowd. And you do so through just starting to engage, starting to just talk about your business. What is it that you offer? Who are you connecting with? I think LinkedIn is the biggest um, or the best way to uh, connect with potential investors and other entrepreneurs that are in the same industry or working in the same environment because it's just the, the it's more professional. I always see like Instagram is good for if you're a product-based business, and that could be good as well because you're engaged with you buying your products. But you have to remember historically crowdfunding even before federal legislation. Like I always give the example of Ben and Jerry's. Uh, ben and Jerry's back in the 80s raised almost a million dollars in Vermont just from its customers and its neighbors and people who would walk by, right? And so it's the same concept, although that was in person, right? You know, um, they're dual. They're not just your investors. They're your people who's going to shop with you. There's going to people that's going to, you know, um, maybe your neighbors, maybe your friends, um, and then also those who are going to invest. You're really turning everyday people into investors. So one client had a huge following. Another just had a great business concept that the media wanted to know more about, right? Um, that is Drivers Co-op. I think, especially in New York City with the cab, the taxi cab industry. Um, and you're going against the conglomerates Uber and Lyft, right? Is that that was a story? And so now you have people who are saying, no, we want to be part of this revolution, right? Of this revolutionary way of of ride sharing. And so you know they got a lot of media attention that helped you know spread the word for them. So it really depends. It, it's going to vary by every with everyone. But I think you should you definitely invest in marketing and that crowd building prior to or definitely during, and and don't just put it up and think you know and wait because it's not going to happen that way.